Rick Sparber here. I'd like to show you a modification that I've made to my Arbor Press. Uh, it used to use this bar, which was never in the right position, and finally got tired of that. And I had a spare socket. That's a uh, inch and a sixteenth socket. So I, I cut off part of this shaft that had the hole in it for the bar and turned it down so it was a snug fit on the inside of the socket and then I machined a V into it so it would weld better not the world's best welder I, but this looks like it's so far it's strong enough so goes in put on the collar on this side I'll show you a couple of things that are nice about this First of all, without having that bar kicking around, oh, collar's a little tight. Without having that bar kicking around, I can easily slide this up and down to get where I want it. Secondly, because I have a socket on there, the square hole is uh, nice and hard. So here I have a half inch drive for that socket. I have the ability to with this clicking this way, I can bring it up and it'll hold. Move that down and click it down and it will come up. Uh, so let's say that I want to compress something. Let's say this piece of steel. Then just slide that down. The bar now is, you know, it's a ratchet. So it's exactly where I want it. I can put a cheater bar on the end, and I have leaned on this pretty hard and uh, not had any problem with this. The, the rest of the mechanism seems to be flexing more than the weld I put in. So it looks like it, it uh, may be an improvement to what I had before. And then for storage, handle comes off. Might even have a, a need for it, although I very rarely use half inch drives. Uh, I certainly wouldn't do this with a uh, 3 ace, but I think a half inch looks like it's solid enough. So that's all for now.